Hey guys, it's Chris Kringle here, and I'm back with some more Spider-Man. I'll just let this cutscene do its thing. What range? Uh, 100 yards, maybe. Easy shot. Very funny, Frank. Huh? He spotted me, but how could he? I lost him. What happened? He took out my scope. Hey, tough guy. Sorry about that expensive lens, Punisher. Something tells me we have the same objective here. That's the place. Warehouse 65. We can team up. You cover my back. Huh. No thanks, Mr. Deathwish. I'd like to keep the body count low, if you don't mind. Fair enough. Punisher's guns can't solve this problem. Gotta play this one my way. Yeah, I'm not sure how effective bullets would be against the symbiotes, but, you know. So anyway, last time we, uh, managed to find uh, where, like, some symbiotes were being created under the Daily Bugle, warehouse. and and fought Mysterio, who turned out to be the guy who framed us. So now we learned that a lot of the symbiote creation is going on here at the warehouse. Oh, more symbiotes. Looks like the old Spidey luck is holding out. Oh, yeah. That's, that's like, entirely right, Spidey. You know. There we go. Destroy four more, okay. I'm gonna show up here for a bit. So, yeah. Uh, one of the things... Like, that I've actually not mentioned yet, surprisingly, is like, one of the reasons I really like this game is just how, like, cheesy and corny it is with the, some of the lines and just the way the game plays out. Like, how Spider-Man just, like, never misses an opportunity to make a quick little quip about the situation, which, I think this game came out in, like, 1999 or something like that, or 2000, so it was still, either way, I think it was still trying, like, still had that 90s in it, so, you know, it had a lot of 90s cheese with... I'm already at full health. Well, it has a lot of 90s cheese with it, so yeah. Now, I believe with this mission, we have to search through the warehouse and destroy those generators. So, and yeah, I think we go this way. Oops. Uh, there's symbiotes. Our problem for the... For the burning web of justice. There we go. And while I'm doing this, uh, one thing I didn't mention before was like kind of mysterious backstory. I kind of would like like doing More that with uh, some They'll of the characters. His basic thing is like he kind of has it out for Spidey because he blames him for uh, <coughs> ruining him. Because before he donned the fish bowl, uh, he was a special effects uh, guy for movies and stuff like that. But, you know, when he wanted more than that, like, he decided to do, like, crime to get attention. And he wanted to text, test his ep expertise by mimicking all of Spider-Man's powers and look. At least that's how, like, the original comics have that storyline. I mean, some are a little bit different with how it's how it is, and I'm just gonna chill up here for a bit. I'm almost out of webbing, by the way. So yeah, that's basically Mysterio's deal. He uses like misdirection and uh, and special effects to win, which you know I do kind of like. I would really like to see him in like a movie. You know, maybe the new one that's coming out in 2017 with uh, with Tom Holland, but you know, there's not much about that movie yet. At least as the time I'm recording this, they haven't really announced who. As far as I know, they've only announced the. Uh, obviously, Tom Holland's playing Spider-Man, and they've announced he's playing Aunt May, which uh, the name escapes me at the moment. They haven't announced who the villain is or what the plot is yet. They don't have a trailer for it, so yeah. And here's a generator. Let's see. Well, all generators destroyed. I think we can just go this way now, right? Yep, then checkpoints. Oh man, there's the powers up there. Want to be careful of that. Alright, let's see, and that one's blocked, go this way. So yeah, and another thing, I, I don't think I mentioned this, but what I like about this game is that like, there's a lot of other Marvel characters in this game that make little appearances like you saw before this mission started, Punisher, like, which I thought was pretty cool that he was in it. He didn't, he didn't do much because, you know, he's like really, he's really, uh, all about using brutal f brute force by, uh, stopping crime. Looks like 
this is it. So, you know, and it's like kind of that thing where it's like he shoots first and asks questions later kind of thing. Which Spider-Man, I don't know if he necessarily agrees with that. Then again, like I said before, I don't know how effective bullets would be against Geronimo! symbiotes. And it looks like that's the end of that level. Or, no, I think it's just like a little segment of the level. Woo! What a rush! Alright, now this part, we've made like down into the depths of the warehouse where it's like more of a lab, like a laboratory type thing. You gotta be kidding. <coughs> okay, recap. A couple of hundred feet underwater, electrified floors and walls, and deadly turrets pointing straight at me. Oh, my day just keeps getting better and better. Oh yeah, this is, couldn't be a better situation. Hey, that guy's gone. See, so, yeah, we just have to make it across. I don't remember how many uh, paths there are with this. Uh, exactly. Oh man, I'm almost out of web fluid. I should really be careful. Hey, it, you could put someone's eye out and with that. Almost out of web fluid. It might be better just to die so I could restock back to seven, but uh, that would be wasting time. There we go. I wish I'm these guys would drop web out. cartridges. Oh man, that almost did not work for some reason. Alright, I'm not sure... Wait, is there one here? Please tell me this one here. I swear there's items in these things. Well, there's health. I don't even need that surprising. Oh, there's one. Yes! But it's one, so it's not really saving me. But, you know. Alright, let's see. So if I make through this one... Whoa, man. Some of these can be kind of close calls, like whether or not you make the jumps or whatnot. So, you want to be kind of aware of that. And can I web slip through this one? Yes, I can. And ow. There we go. Oh, I'm getting a feeling somebody doesn't want me here. Now, I'm not the particularly big fan of this area because these turrets can be kind of annoying because they do like a quarter of damage on normal mode. Oh yeah, that's the thing I forgot to mention. The modes at the beginning that you choose, they you know, they do various things where they like Mainly, they just increase the health and the uh, damage that enemies do. So that's mainly what you, that's important about the mode thing. I just did normal, just, you know, for default kind of thing. I did not feel comfortable doing normal. I mean, I did not feel comfortable doing hard mode. That's what I was trying to say. Let's see. Uh, I can't go that way, right? Didn't it say go back? Yeah, it said go back, I'm pretty sure. Except if I remember correctly. There's like one down there, isn't it? Uh hang on. Look around. And it's through like two of them. I can't go through that. I can't lock onto any of these. Maybe it's not this one. Maybe it is the one forward. Let's see. Can I... it's possible to... no, but it's not. I have to jump. Okay, quit shooting the lasers. Yeah, quit shooting the lasers, bud. Oh, jeez. Uh, where is this guy? Uh, ow. What the hell? Oh, jeez. Move, Spider-Man. Spider-Man! Oh, come on. Canceled me out. There we go. Oh, jeez. Uh, let's see if I could get back up here somehow. There we go. Let's see, maybe if I could, like, avoid being shot from there. Which I can't seem to see where I want to go. I have to go this way. And I died. Just great. Probably gonna have to start at the beginning. Alright, so it does look like I need to go back to the first room, because after I hit that switch, it looks like I need to do that, so hopefully I can maybe do this. It actually, I think I died like maybe ten times trying to, oh jeez, like, fuck. 
All right, I finally made it. So, and wait, is this? Oh my god, are you serious? This was a secret area. I didn't have to go here all this time. Are you kidding me? So now I have to go all the way back. Ugh. Yeah, might as well die, whatever. Just to put it in perspective, I've died like 20 times trying to do that. 20 times. Alright, with the way we're actually supposed to go, through the third way. Ugh, I can't believe it, guys. I can't believe I've had to do this area so many okay, quit times. The oh, God. Oh, no. Hey, this the thing Alright, hopefully that's the last one. Ugh. Don't die! Please be the last one. Yes, it is. All right, I don't have to worry about these things at this point. All right, that's the end of that. Oh my god, that took way longer than it should have. <clears throat> I'm not going to save because, for whatever reason. Oh uh, god, sorry about that. I've, there's going to be a lot of cutout. Let's just say that. I think I died almost thirty times trying to do that. This must be where the fog is coming from. You mean the kryptonite fog? No, it's not actually called that, but just, you know, it's a, if you didn't get it yet, it's a Superman 64 reference. Oh, jeez. No symbiotes. Oh, no, how am I going to deal with these? Just let me get the burning web, please. Security control. I guess we'll go here first. But first, let me just take care of these guys. All right, let's check on this room. We have a winner. Oh, hey! Spider-Man, I'm so happy to see you. Black Cat, what are you doing? Who's behind? What's going on here? <laughs> he sounds so confused. Your guess is as good as mine. The guys in the ambulance must have drugged me because the next thing I knew, I woke up here. You have got to get me out of here. Okay, Cat, but how? If you can somehow shut down the power, I can escape. You got it, Cat. Let's see, now let's just touch this very huge lever right there. Port room's unlocked. Yeah, I think by drug you meant Rufy, didn't you? <laughs> nah, I'm just, I'm just kidding. Alright, so now this, we just have to, like, unlock... Since we see those chambers, different chamber rooms, and, uh... We have those fog containment things. So naturally Bingo. If I read this right, this panel controls the exhaust ports. If I can jam the exhaust ports without stopping the flow of fog, it'll be like a banana in a tailpipe. That ought to blow the power too. A banana in a tailpipe. Yeah, so pretty much as he said. We have to shut off or close those uh, hatches right to just like pretty much clog up the fog and just cause this whole place to explode pretty much so yeah that's pretty much what we're doing here and that should be and that after that should be it for this up like this uh, not episode but level and yeah this game is actually coming pretty close to a pretty damn close to <coughs> ending because after this mission it's pretty fast you know, like, uh, I don't know, like, fast Most. with the other levels, so, yeah, I don't want to say exactly what they are yet, because, you know, and I think after this level, we'll probably call it for, for, uh, this episode, because I think it would be probably the best stopping point, honestly, because, you know, I don't know, maybe... and yeah, depends. Yeah, this will probably be the last, because I think this is probably the best stopping point after this level that we'll get. And next episode will probably be the end. Yes, that does it! Thanks, Spider. 
Whatever you did, it worked. Hey, what else is a Spider-Man for? You go and get some help, Cat. I'll find out who's behind all this. You got it. I'll be back. The color palette's kind of weird in this game because a lot of characters where their suits would look black end up looking more bluish in this, like a dark blue, like Venom and Black Cat. It's kind of weird. Anyway, that'll be it for this episode. So next time on Spider-Man, we'll be, I think we'll be completing the game by finding out who's behind all this entire thing. As in, if it isn't obvious already. See you guys then.